Good afternoon and happy Friday. This is Colleen, your parent specialist, and I'm here to just go over some quick information for the upcoming week. Um, like I said before, it is September 11th, and um, just have a couple things I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of. First thing is that today is the last day to sign up for the device protection plan, and that's a plan that protects their Chromebooks. It's a $30 insurance plan that is non-refundable, and information can be found on the website about that, but you can pay online. So please be sure to check that out. And if you need to purchase that, please get that done today so that your student's Chromebook is insured for this year. It also has on the website where you can find prices of what things typically cost to fix if there's an issue. So it's definitely worthwhile to have um, just to protect the Chromebook, especially with the amount of use that they're going to get this year. Um, also, we have gotten some information from the Department of Health Services regarding masks. And masks are available for free to families with students. So if you're in need of a mask this week in the newsletter, you'll find information in the link to where you can sign up to have a set of five masks delivered to your home. Um, they first were delivered and available for our high risk senior population. And they've recently made this available to families with students going back to school as well. And I can say from personal experience, I ordered them for my family. Um, for my parents and they came within one or two weeks. So if you're in need of an extra mask, they're just a white Hanes mask, but they do the job and they're free. Next week, our student government is sponsoring a spirit week. It'll be a virtual spirit week and we would love to see everyone participate. The themes are Monday will be mask up Monday. So we would love to see pictures of our students with their masks on um, and what they wear out in public and what they'll be wearing if and when they arrive on campus. Um, Tuesday is Sports Teams Tuesday, so if you are a DE athlete and you want to represent that sport, or maybe with football season starting, you want to represent your favorite football team, college football team, baseball, hockey, you name it, um, we would love to see you in your favorite sport gear. Um, Thursday will be Pajama Day, and we would love to see you in your pajamas as long as they're school appropriate, and maybe a little bedhead here and there, but just please make sure that you do adhere to the school policies when you're in your virtual meetings with your students and your teachers. And Friday is DE Spirit Day. We wanna see all the spirit that DE has. We know that there's tons of spirit out there and we would love to see it. Um, from the Food Services Department, they just wanted to update everyone and say thank you for those that signed up for the Return to Learn Meal Basket Program. They had over 125 families sign up, which is great. They'll be getting information sent to them later this week, early next week with the information about where to pick them up and at what time. So please, if you did sign up for the meal baskets, please check your emails and make sure that you've received that correspondence. And if you haven't by next week, Tuesday, please reach out to me and I'll get you in touch with food services. Um, the transportation department wanted me to share with you as well. And this is all going to be in the newsletter and much more detail. So if I'm going a little fast or you don't get the whole just of the information, please check your newsletter being sent today for more information. But the newsletter will also include, like I said, from the transportation department that they need everyone that has a child that plans on riding the bus when we return to school to sign up for the Edulog parent portal. And it's a great resource to have. It allows families to see in real time where the bus is, how long it will take for the bus to get to your destination. It will also let you know if there are any issues with the bus and maybe it's broken down or there's a mechanical issue. Um, but honestly, the most important thing that I can say is from this, is if you are going to be a bus rider or your child will be a bus rider, they need to have your information. And this is how they're setting up all the accounts for the, um, the upcoming school year for bus riding. So please make sure that you download that app. Um, also in the newsletter, I have some information about standards-based grading. And if you're a parent of a student that's being graded using SBG, there's a quick link to a video that's very helpful and very informative that lets you know how the policies and procedures work with grading. Because as you know, this quarter is almost up, which is technically the semester for some of our, for their students for their periods one, two, and three classes. So at the point in October on the second, those grades will close and that will be their grade for their semester one classes for periods one, two, and three. So it's really important to understand that information. Also, classes are, remember, 150 minutes, but the first 55 minutes, the students are required to be live, present, and in front of the cameras with their teachers. The teachers are taking attendance. They're looking to see faces. They don't want to see eyes only or ceilings or ceiling fans or things like that. We really need to make sure that everyone's visible. And if you're having any issues at home, parents, please, please, please send in an email to me. I can get you to the help form. We have a help form available that gets you to 
um, the IT department if you're having a computer Chromebook issue, if your internet's lagging and you might need a hotspot, but please also reach out to the teachers. Let them know too that there might be an issue so that the students aren't being marked absent. As a reminder, on September 23rd, which is an early release day, but technically that's a Wednesday, so there's no classes for our students, the student government is hosting a blood drive and it will be at Skyway Church on Van Buren and Goodyear. And if you're interested in donating blood, they will love to have as many participants as possible. And during this pandemic, I know that there's been talk of the need for blood right now for patients and just people that are ill. If you're interested in signing up for that, please reach out to Stugo. Um, the counseling department has been meeting with seniors and they're so excited to hear the plans despite not being able to see them in person. They've been doing a lot of the virtual meetings and they're just so impressed and pleased by what they're seeing and the number of students that have already set up their plans. Students, if you have not met with your counselor yet, seniors especially, to sign up for that meeting or just get that information with your counselor set up just to have a plan, it's really important that you do that as soon as possible. Each counselor is setting up their own calendar, so you just need to reach out to that specific counselor that's assigned to you and get that information. Also, Mr. Cravens and the College and Career Center wanted me to share that next week we have a bunch of virtual visits being conducted. We have Northern Arizona University, Hawaii Pacific University, and Arizona State University will all be meeting with students on Wednesday the 16th. And more information can be found in the newsletter about that, or you can check on your Naviance account if you're a student. And as always, um, if you have any questions or need assistance, I'm here to help you. Please make sure that you fill out the help form if it's something related to IT, or things that I might not be able to help you with, or you can email me and I can try to get you to the right department. Um, with our school being the way that it is right now, our yearbook staff is working very hard also on putting together a yearbook from the standpoint of what this year has looked like. So if you have any fun pictures of your student working from home that you maybe want to send in, um, please feel free to send them into our yearbook staff. I know that in a lot of the messages I put out, I put the email address, but along with that also, if you'd like to purchase a yearbook, to kind of remember what this year was like so that your child can look back in 15 or 20 years and go, oh yeah, I remember that and that pandemic. Um, the yearbooks are on sale and until the, the 2nd of October, the price is the lowest it will be at $55 and then the price will go up. And just like when you go online to pay for your parent insurance plan for their Chromebook, you can also pay for your book on there as well through that touch base portal. As always, you can check out books from the library. Even though we are not on campus right now, the library has set up a system where you can um, take out books. So if you're interested, please check the website for more information on that. And seniors, another thing I wanted to mention that Grads Photography is our company this year that the district is going with for pictures. And they would love to have you come in when you have time to get your senior portrait taken in a more um, laid back setting so not it, with the hustle and bustle when we do get back to school and have to um, come up with a plan to make sure everyone gets their photo taken but is also safe and social, socially distant. Um, grads has offered the opportunity for you to come in now on the weekends whenever it's convenient for you to get that picture taken and there is no charge for just that senior portrait but they do have portrait packages available if you're interested in purchasing some pictures for senior year. A um, couple things like I said before on the 23rd of September it is a staff development day, so there will be no office hours or independent study hours or club meetings that day. It is also the day of the blood drive. On October 2nd, which is a Friday, that's the last day of periods one, two, and three, so that first half of semester one, uh, it will be an early release day. Students will still go to their classes online virtually, but they will be done by 1110. And then just kind of thinking ahead, fall break is coming up. This weather the last few days has definitely felt like fall. So hopefully that will continue and fall break will be the 5th through the 9th of no, October, excuse me. And as always, like I said, please reach out to me if you have any questions, if you need any help, I'm here to help. Um, I answer my emails all throughout the day. Um, if you need anything, please let me know and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.